This is my oxalic acid vaporizer. The design's a composite of many designs on the uh, that you can get on the web. This is half inch thick aluminum bar stock. Um, I think it's about an inch wide, maybe an inch and a half long, with a uh, little tray cut out inside of it. This is what it looks like before I put the handle on. This is threaded for 3 8 rod. The only reason I did this is I have access to that bunch of scrap pieces like that. The, the uh, heart of the matter is a standard diesel glow plug. This is an Autolite um, 1107. Bought it on eBay. They're about $10, uh, $12 a piece. That goes in here. And I have a set screw that goes in here that holds the glow plug in place. Positive terminal is this little clip here. And then the negative terminal, for now, I'm putting it here on the handle. That's the basic design. Uh, I broke a handle last week on my shovel. So that's my new handle. I'll be able to cut, cut it up and make multiple handles. I don't think there's much else to the design. You'll see uh, later in the video if you want to keep watching. I made these on a CNC machine. I made about 10 for now just to play with. You can see how that's done. Okay, what happens is we take approximately, this will be about one gram. It's a half a teaspoon, um, or a quarter teaspoon, sorry. That's about two grams. Chop it up here a little bit. I would actually weigh it if I was going to use it. This is just a test. <clears throat> now because this gets hot and I don't want it to take all the heat out through my welding table, I'm going to just set this here just so it holds that in place. I was doing some tests earlier with my infrared thermometer. Okay, I'm going to hook it up to my car battery. Um, I hope to, later in the week, I'm going to get a uh, car charger, 10 amp car charger, and I'm hoping to use that because I have 110 available. Uh, in the future, I could use like a small motorcycle or a large motorcycle battery, 12 volt battery, to remote power this. But this is just for testing purposes. All right. I'm going to go hook it up to my car battery on my truck and you can see how it vaporizes. Let me zoom in a little here. Um, zoom in on this cup. There, you can see it boiling. It goes from a, from a solid, kind of bubbles, but it goes almost straight into a gas. Uh, my next video I'll show actual doing a treatment. But for now, this is just testing, make sure everything works. So I'm going to go plug it in. Okay, just hooked it up to the battery. It should start vaporizing. It takes about 10-15 seconds to start and it should run for about a minute. You can feel good. Okay, the exhaust acid just melted and it's starting to boil. Okay, get an idea for how long this takes. I'm going to step away because this stuff uh, fumes aren't that great.
Okay, that took right around a minute. So that's how long a hive treatment would take. All right, so I'd call that a successful test. The handle is a little warm about here, um, but it's cooling down. Let me show you what this looks like now. You see it's all gone. There's no powder left. So that's it for now. Um, maybe in a week or two, I'll have everything I need to actually put it in the hive and do a treatment. Yesterday, I treated three of my hives with the silic acid in my vaporizer. This hive right there was one of them. You can see uh, they seem none the worse for wear. Uh, this hive was also treated. This hive I treated, but um, currently it's queenless. I put some uh, eggs and early larvae in there, hoping that I can get an emergency queen cell from them. So today I'm going to treat this one. To hold the vapors in the hive I need to close off my screen bottom board. So what I've done is I cut a slot in my hive stand below my bottom board. This slot's the same one I use for my sticky board when I want to do uh, mite counts and stuff. So I just put that in there, put that little piece of wood there and then that blocks off the screen bottom board so any vapors they go up into the hive. Okay, put on my bee suit because I don't know how upset these bees are going to get when I do this. They, uh, they didn't like the other one when I did it. So what I have here is a small battery. It's the type of battery that's in a uh, scooter, electric scooter, electric bicycle type thing. It's also the same battery used in fire alarm panels. I put it on a charger so that uh, it doesn't lose much charge when I'm uh, when I'm doing this. Otherwise it discharges the battery about halfway when I do one of these. So right now I fill my vaporizer, got a little uh, tray in there, cut out. I fill that up with oxalic acid. And then I'll stick this in the hive <clears throat> and use this rag, this towel, to block the entrance to keep the vapors in. And I'll let it go for a minute and 45 seconds, and it should be completely. Um, Vaporized by then. Take my watch off so I can see the time. Now, I'm going to put my gloves on because I got to pull the front reducer and I'm not sure how irritated they will be when I do that. Plus, when I put this rag on the front. Okay. So, first things first, pull off my entrance reducer. Okay, I'm going to slide this into about here, which is about halfway. This gets 300 degrees, so it would kill any bees that came in contact with it. And now I'm going to Hook it up to the battery. Okay, the spark tells me that it's came on. Now I'm going to just put this cover on the front here. And uh, I just started, so I'll let it go for a minute and 45 seconds. You can hear it in the hive as soon as it starts to vaporize. Uh, they, they go quite into a, a roar. It's 
off lot coming back that want to go in. Right, 30 feet over there is a peach tree that's in bloom, and you're going crazy over that. Okay, we are 45 seconds in. It should just now be vaporizing, and it should take about another 45 seconds to a minute to completely get done. I didn't notice any extra dead bees today, this morning when I got up in front of these other hives that I did, so that's a good sign. That's a minute and 30 seconds. I'm going to let it go another 15 seconds. Okay, if this worked, it should be... There's no oxalic acid left. So it completely uh, vaporized it into the hive, and that's it. Bees are coming and going like nothing's going on. And when I did this uh, in practice, I did it out in the open, and this vapor is so nasty that uh, it just makes you cough. It's amazing that the bees are relatively unfazed by it. That's my oxalic acid vaporizer treatment for today.